Hey guys, Aaron here. Welcome back to another video. And today, um, I I was supposed to upload um a Pokemon video today, but I changed my mind. So basically, um, I just got back from uh our my uh, the public library that I went to. Basically, me and my friend planned to go to the public library and actually go to CVS, uh, CVS, CVS, and walk there. <clears throat> and the thing is, it, uh, his, uh, my friend, his mom called, and he couldn't go, so I went home too, and I just got back. And basically what this video is about is basically, it's kind of like my friend not just being hurt, not because with the whole mom thing, but also like these uh, disrespect, not technically disrespecting, but kind of like not as caring librarians, basically. So we went to the library and we uh we we're gonna get uh my, uh my friend's brothers he has two brothers and basically because they were playing games there on the computer and basically marcos can't come to the library in the building not like here basically he couldn't come there for like the rest of the day but then like one point now he can't go to the library for a whole week and i'll explain that so basically what happened is um uh, like I said, we went to try to get his brothers, so we walked inside and we called for their brothers. But um, they were, they were about to, they were taking his time, and then these two librarians were just like, just like, oh, we heard that you got kicked out of the library, so you had to tempor temporarily, uh, I mean, not temporarily, but like, you know, technically, you gotta get out like actual like of the actual building. And the thing is, <clears throat> he says, um. He, can I wait here for my brother literally by the door, but he's like no you literally gotta get out of the building And that's where the point is like You're adults and basically what I'm saying is you're letting this kid out waiting for his brothers and basically um It's like what it's like uh, 5 30 right now or like almost and it's dark and it's very cold It's like I think 20 degrees or so. I'm not sure but yeah you let a kid outside wait just for his brothers to come out. And the thing is, their brothers didn't even come out because they were still playing games. And basically what happened is, these two adults or whatever you want to say, he, he, um, I mean, one was a she, one was a he. Like, he wouldn't let him stay out of the building. And my friend got pissed off and basically he was walking out the door while they were explaining. So, like... Basically, he, he was kicked out for the whole day, so he couldn't get back there, but he didn't know. But also, usually, he was kicked out for a reason. Those reasons were lies. Usually, some saying that, like, he was hurting someone, but I know my friend is a good friend. I've never, like, I know sometimes he tease people, but, like, in a funny way, and, like, you know, it's your, usually your friends, but he doesn't pick on people or anything. He's... He's a funny and kind guy, uh, funny and kind guy, and that's when you think, like, oh, you're just saying that because, you know, you're his friend and he respects you. I was like, no, it's not like that. It doesn't matter. You, like, even if you know him or not, he's not going to be, like, mean to you or anything. Basically, I feel bad for him because, um, once he started walking, he got, he got pissed off. So, basically, when he was walking out the door or something, he basically smacked the door. And, you know, he was going to leave, and he started, like, running away towards out the benches and stuff. And he went off in the street, and he went home. His brother didn't even come with him, because I'm pretty sure his mom, their mom, his, their mom was going to pick them up. But she just picked, she will probably just pick them up at around 6 o'clock. This video is probably going to be uploaded later than 6 o'clock or something. I'm not sure, but, um, so, yeah, basically, you know how naturally when sometimes when you didn't do something, you get mad. So the guy, the librarian, he's like, he's like, okay, buddy, he's like, don't you ever come back here for, don't ever come back here for a week. And then he gets mad, he's like, you smacked the door right in front of me like that? Like, bro, he smacked the door, but not just he smacked the door and left, but like, he didn't even know that you were going to come walking. He was just waiting by the door. And, and Mark, uh, my friend, he, he didn't even look back. So how would he know you get like smacked right in front of the door? And the thing is, like, as the dude was explaining, I was like, okay, like, okay, buddy, you're, you're gonna smack the door right in front of me. Don't you come back for a week. 
and he was like he was like shouting it right behind him and I was right right there right next to him and I was like I was like bro do not talk like disrespect to my friends like while we were walking I was like wow you let a kid out to try to wait in the cold that's like 20 degrees it's like what kind of adults are you even if he was kicked kicked out like why won't you just let him wait for his brother by the door like it's freezing cold like come on you like it's literally by the door. Nobody's gonna be there. L literally by the door. It says the bathroom, the water fountain. And he has to be temporarily, like, out. Like, permanent. Like, not permanently, but, like, he has to be, like, out of the building. Like, there's just bathroom, water fountains, and the door. Like, he's not gonna do anything. Like, what the heck? And I know he's not because he doesn't do those bad things and stuff like that. Like, I know he probably hasn't once, but, like, not, like, picking on people or being mean or something. And he, he, he always, he, he got mad, and not just that he got mad, but I tried talking to him, but he just started running off. And this is actually true, because like I said, this happened like half an hour ago. And basically, I'm just sending this message to see how, like, these people can be sometimes not, not like, well, kind of cruel, but same things like have, not just respect, even if you say respect your elders, but you, you can't even let a kid like stay in just to wait for his brother even by the door even if he's kicked out but those reasons were lies and not just that but like i started saying up stuff too they were just stand like like come on man just like not i'm not trying to be mean but this one lady's like oh th this one oh uh, not trying to be mean but like this one big lady and then the dude's like tall and then he, like you know and then they're just like, uh, he, you gotta be temporarily out of the building. And not just that, but, like, he started walking right behind us as we were, like, here. <sighs> I know my friend got mad, and he smacked the door as he was leaving, and he didn't know the guy was right behind him. So we're already out of the building, like, like, dude, literally out of the building. And the thing is, the guy still comes, and, like, why do you need to explain even more or say, like, oh, why, why are you gonna smack the door right in front of me? But he, my friend didn't even know. And it's like, dude, you, you're you're asking my friend to leave like nicely because he got kicked out for a reason, and my friend's asking nicely if he could wait for his brother like by the door. And the thing is, like, even though we were like I said already out of the building, we were already leaving. He still comes after and starts explaining like, bro, you just told us to leave. Why are you still talking to us? Like, get out of her face. And not just that, like, we have, like, like, we didn't even, we ended up not going to CVS, and, you know, his brothers were still in the libraries, and I'm guessing his mom's gonna pick them up. He ended up running home, and it's, like, dark, so, yeah, and like I said, it's, like, 20 degrees, it's freezing cold. It's, like, bruh, like, come on. Do, I mean, like, I mean, you could probably tell, like, you have a coat or something, my friend has a coat, but just because you have a coat or something, tuck Technically, it's not going to make you always warm if you're standing there for, like, forever, half an hour, an hour. You're going to be freezing your butt off. Like, come on. Like, um, basically what I'm saying this video is for, like, I just feel bad for my pr friend. Because usually this happens to him a lot, too, in school and stuff like that. Like, sometimes in school, he gets in trouble by the teacher. Because he he the teacher says that he did something or did this. But, like, I usually, like... What I'm saying is, instead of, like, sometimes, like, instead of, like, teacher, not just teachers, but librarians or anybody or any adults, basically, like, instead of listening to what, uh, all these kids are saying or believe or believing in it, like, why don't you actually look? Like, the point of them is usually sometimes teachers are super supervising, but yet when they're working and they're not, like, why don't you actually see or look, like, actually what's happening instead of just asking, like, who did what or did this, and then the teachers would believe uh, believe this this person or that. I'm like, you don't know because you don't have evidence. Like, they're just, you, you don't know if it's the truth or if it's a lie. And I know my friend uh, doesn't do those things. The people that tell on him are, tell on him are just like, wow, he don't like, so that's like... And the thing is, like, that's not funny because sometimes, like, my friends or something, they start laughing because he gets in trouble. And, like, he would think that in his mind, too, but at the same time, he would feel sad or mad because he's being, uh, like, you know, he's basically being not just hurt, but he's being bullied or something like that. And I kind of feel bad, too, because usually sometimes, like, that happened to me before. And, <clears throat> yeah, um, 
Also, what happened was like, uh, what the reason why he was kicked out was like, um, he, uh, this guy, this kid that always usually gets in trouble in school, in our school, because sometimes he would just try to cover up with a lie or a reason, but then usually the teachers can tell it. Basically, he's a big troublemaker, doesn't listen. He always, like, kind of, like, disrespects the thing, but, I'm, I mean, kids a day sometimes do that, but, like, actually, like, disrespect doesn't, like, you know, do anything that, like, type of stuff. I'm not saying, like, you know, crazy things on the school and stuff, but, like, actually things, like, like you shouldn't do. Not, like, the typical thing, like, oh, talking over teachers and stuff like that, but that's what I'm saying, or any adult. But, like, basically, he spilled water, or, I mean, and this, uh, Mark, my friend, he, try, uh, he wipes the thing with some paper or some mini or something and this guy said like who spilled the water or something like that and he the the kid blamed it on my friend and like he, my friend didn't spill it and then he got in trouble because he spilled water on the table and also like once uh we told uh, we uh, told the reasons for the dude that was tall the white dude um he 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 was like we told him was like oh dude we was like that that's a lie or something but then like like i said with the whole thing like why are you still talking to us even though you just told us to go out of the building he's st like when i said that he starts following us following us he's like he's like oh how come i never heard that you were hurting a person i was like i'm like bruh are you like are you kidding me why are you still talking to us not just talking to us but my friend wouldn't pick or hurt anyone because not because as a friend's perspective but even from what I see around school or anywhere, I can tell, like, what these people would be doing. Like, at first, I thought my friend, like, usually, like, I've seen him, like, in school before I got to know him. I did not see him any pick anyone or stuff, but I thought he would be, like, a troublemaker, but not, like, bully anyone. But he turned out to be a really good guy. Like, you, you, you don't know this stuff, and you explain, or at least see what's happening right in front of me, uh, in front of you, even... To even have, um, to know if, like, you know, to get to know a person or if you're just basically just guessing or just believing in what, whatever person this or that says, kind of like, you have no evidence, kind of, you have lack of evidence, man. It's usually a phenomenal problem these days that sometimes people are getting hurt, not even my friend, but around the world, that usually not just, like, telling lies and stuff, but kind of disrespect and the thing is, like, you can't even treat this one person right, even if he asks it something nice, he or she ask, uh something nicely, like, come on. Basically, Marcos, if you're watching this, that's my friend's name, I'm sorry, but he watches my channel, and uh, I hope you hear this message, and I'm sorry for what happened, I feel bad for you. I know that to my friend, it doesn't just happen to him with these adults and stuff, but it happens to a lot of people, even though, like, you know... He, he does these things and then like these other people that do these things that they were the one who did it or did the accident or the uh, mistake and then when when Marcos comes in there or something it makes it look like when someone says something or whatever it makes it look like he was the one who actually did it or whatever but he didn't because that's kind of like putting it into play where it's such a big lie and like no evidence at all you just believe in what you know like i said what this person says i know some of the things i just i'm just repeating but I, I i'm just saying i just can't stand how i can't even explain like how these people are just explaining like it, it just it just pisses me off especially with the whole like thing where people judge you and stuff like man like that that's so stupid like i don't know how to explain this but basically like I know the librarians were asking him nicely to leave, but he was also a asking if he could just wait by the door for his brothers, even if he was kicked out of reason, like I said, dude, it's 20 degrees outside, what if you were him and you were waiting out there, you, you, you would, you would have, if you were in his perspective or something, you would have felt the same, and also as he was running away or something, as we were walking away to the street, I started yelling at them too, I was like, like you like such a stupid library i'm not saying like reading and stuff like that is stupid but i'm saying it's like stupid because like you can't even let a kid wait by the door and not just that but like it's like it's like you can't um i was start i started shouting like 
Dude, I was like, you don't disrespect my friend, bro. Even if, like, you know, the whole uh, respect your elders thing, but, like, not just respect your elders thing, but, like, technically, you're, you're not that child or you're not this, like, parent or something. So, basically, you can't tell him what to do because it's his, even though if it's his own actions and it's a policy or a rule, like, it's basically some things basically he's just i just feel bad for my friend because he's usually he's treated unfairly and i i it's i hate to see that and it just pisses me off and not just that but to other people too and sometimes even me so yeah and i'm gonna wrap it up there guys and basically you know i know this was a bit of a long video of explaining but yeah um <clears throat> Let me know what you guys think of the comments. I know this video might not get as much views, but you know that I just wanted to show this around uh, people telling basically like how people sometimes like still have no heart or don't care or something. But yeah, and if you guys enjoy this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, make sure you do it by clicking the subscribe button down below. And else, and as always. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.